Hey everybody, welcome back to Superstition Mountain. Thanks for watching. So today I've got a really good lesson for you, but before we get to the lesson, I've got some really good news about things that are going on for Milo Lines Golf. I'm currently in the process of building a new website. This site will be a subscription website, and the reason I decided that I would like to do this is I'm having so much success, so thank you all again. I'm having people travel in from all over the place to take lessons from me, and my, my subscribers on YouTube are growing quite fast, and I'd like to be able to help more of you. I know it's not really possible for all of you to be able to get out here and see me, but I'd really love to be able to help as many of you as possible. And one of the things I find is that even though there's lots and lots of great content out there, there's tons of really good teachers online, so much good information. For most of you, it's useless. You take that information and you're just throwing it on the wall and hoping some of it sticks. My goal is to be able to help direct you to the information that actually applies to you. And I feel like with Milo Lines Golf, I'll be able to do that and help many more than I currently am. So part of the site will be the ability for you to submit videos and have them analyzed by myself or another instructor as part of my team, and we'll be able to direct you on where to start and what the process is. It'll be like coming and taking a lesson directly from me. So I'm hoping that we can duplicate that and help many more people. So thanks again for, for all the support. Now today's lesson is from a question from my last video. Somebody asked me to do a video on how to stop hitting it fat. Now there's two main reasons that people hit the ball fat. Number one is poor sequencing. So you're, you're changing directions and you're unwinding the golf club back here. If I do that, you can see that the club's gonna hit the ground back here unless I do something to correct it. So, and what most people do is they throw the club and they kind of stand up. So it's a little bit of a early extension goes hand in hand with the throw. Now if you mistime it, you hit it fat or you hit it thin. Now what the best players are doing is they're not really trying to throw the club out of the top. There's a lot, there's not much tension in their hands and arms and they're changing direction correctly. Okay. The second reason that people tend to hit the ball fat is that their pivot doesn't go around. So they swing the club back and instead of going around, 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 they go tilt, tilt, tilt. So now nothing's turning. The club's having a very difficult time working around me. So the club's going to work down into the ground here. And again, you're going to wind up with some early extension and some other problems. So what's the fix? Well, the fix is first to make some swings taking the hands out. So you want to feel a motion where you're practicing turning back and through with very little hand action. That gets your pivot working correctly, kills two birds with one stone. The next thing you want to do is you want to add in a little wrist hinge. So we're going to add in our little wrist hinge and then change direction to get that pivot working correctly. If you do those things, your sequence is going to improve, your pivot's going to improve, the bottom of your swing arc will start to happen in front of the ball. Students who come out and see me rarely need to be taught how to stop hitting it fat. Almost always it's cleared up as I clear up their pivoting issues and the tension in their hands and arms and sequencing. So if we can get those pieces of the puzzle figured out so you're not applying a lot of force early with your hands and arms and your pivot is working correctly in a circle, you won't have to worry about hitting the ball fat anymore. If you like this video, please be sure to subscribe to my channel and look for more updates on Milo Lines Golf. I'd love to have you as a subscriber there as well. Thanks.